jam tracks online I'll I'll post uh, the links to those jam tracks on the, in the description below so this is something I picked up a uh, few I guess last week um, I got it from Palin music uh, in uh, the United States I bought it through reverb and um, it, it landed in like no time flat the guy I dealt with was name his name was Nash and he's just a stand-up guy but he was great uh, so this is the uh, Music Man Cutlass by Sterling, so it's the, it's the cheaper version, uh, SSS version, so three single coils. Um, it's got a roasted maple neck, uh, just uh, nickel frets, uh, of course three Alnico pickups, uh, it's got a trem, which I never use. Um, so when I got, I read some good stuff about them, but I, I wanted to see for myself. I was thinking about getting an Ert Strat style. Uh, here in Canada, the one that I wanted was, it was almost uh, $500, it was 400 and change or whatever. And, uh, and then I think now there's a little bit for shipping. Um, so whereas this one I got for 3 5 uh, American, which came out to, I guess, around the same price as an Earth guitar, but I got caught up in the old, you know, the brand name. Well, no, that's not really the case. I just... I wanted something that had the four and two tuners because it eliminates the string trees. All the strings are really straight, like through the nut. Um, these have a GraphTech nut. Uh, GraphTech is actually, I guess, uh, a supplier for Music Man. So all their guitars, expensive or cheap, have a GraphTech nut, so which was good. The nut wasn't really, uh, you know, cut well. So I took the guitar to uh, a luthier uh, that I know. He's a uh, uh, phenomenal guitar player, phenomenal uh, uh, luthier as well, and guitar tech. And he, uh, you know, redid the nut. He polished all the frets. The frets were terrible on this thing. Uh, not so much the fret ends, but they were very scratchy, and uh, you, you could see that somebody had taken some steel wool and tried to, like, smooth them down or whatever, uh, or smooth them down. So um, he had to, you know, polish all the frets. There wasn't any high frets, though. Everything, everything was good. Um, uh, I just changed the, the pot to some telly knobs. I'm kind of a telly guy. Uh, I'm not really used to this uh, middle pickup. So you noticed in those little clips all the mistakes I made. <laughs> I was hitting this pickup nonstop. It's crazy. So for some of you who, um, who are thinking about getting like a Strat style guitar, um, but you're used to playing a telly, this pickup may or may not be, you know, uh, an issue for you. Um, the way I play, which is kind of sloppily, and I've never really learned to play, I just picked up stuff on my own. Um, it, it seems to always be in the way. I seem to always play like right here, so I don't know. Um, the, switch in, the switches in these are just these cheap little plastic uh, 
little plastic circuit box type switches. They were terrible. When I got this one, if you look at my other video, um, it, it was shorted. So I put a new switch in, um, like a Fender, uh, an American style switch, which, uh, you know, I wire, it was easy to wire and everything. I put it back together. And then I had like barely no output. Like not, like the tone knob didn't work. Uh, the, I had, the signal was really low. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So when I sent the guitar to my tech, I said, look, look at this. I, apparently I can't wire a switch anymore. So <laughs> anyway, it turns out these are shielded. They have shielding paint inside. So turns out the switch, the American switch being a little bit bigger than the stock uh, circuit board switch, the prongs on one side were touching the wall of the, of the guitar cavity and it was creating some ground issues. So that's all it was. <laughs> so a little piece of basket tape and stuff and uh, just fix that right up. So, um, so yeah, so, so these, the switch works great now. Um, uh, and uh, I guess that's about it. These guitars are extremely versatile. I found I had a you know really good kind of country tone, well, what I like anyway. The blues tone is nice. Uh, the rock tone is right up there. And these are stock pickups. Like, I haven't even upgraded this. Um, the neck feels fantastic. Like, these roasted maple necks are great. However, I will say this. These are asymmetrical necks. So they're, real, they're thicker on, on, like, they're thicker up top here than they are down here so some of you might find that really comfortable but I have you know small hands and uh, I really feel the thickness of the neck like I, it's it's good it's okay like I'll get used to it but it's a lot thicker than a, a typical tele neck um, up top it's got some chunk to it so if you like the old 50 style necks tele necks the, the ones that are you know kind of thick uh, you'll love these and but it plays really nice it's definitely not a strat style neck by any means, but it plays really nice. Uh, the action's good, uh, tones are nice, and it's super comfortable. Uh, so anyway, um, you know, locking tuners. If you guys are thinking about getting a Strat style guitar but don't really like Strats, um, I would highly recommend this. One thing I one thing I liked about this is typical Strat style guitars have three knobs, so they have another knob like right here. And I knew I know back in the day when I started playing. And I had a Strat guitar like when I was a kid. I used to always hit that knob and it used to bug the crap out of me. Um, so that's why I went with Tellys because, you know, the, the knobs were down low. Now this guitar caught my eye because it had it only had like a master and a, and a tone. And it didn't have that upper knob here. So there's no issue with hitting that knob whatsoever. Um, so anyway, uh, I can't comment on the trem. Uh, people say it's really good, but I, like I said, I'm not a trem player. You've heard me play. I, I'm very limited to the stuff I can do. So um, it's just not in my realm of stuff. So I'm, I mean, anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, these Music Mans are great for the price. You can't go wrong. Um, and uh, uh, I'll keep posting videos if I can, you know, if I find anything wrong with them or whatever. But, um, you know, with the contours you get, the contoured heels, um, you know, the Graf Tech Knot, the locking tuners, the Alnico pickups, uh, real nice uh, two, you know, it doesn't have the five little screws like, or the six little screws like Fender has, like they, these are like the post style um, tremolo. Um, you know, when you look at everything that you get, um, roast and maple neck, like to get something in a strat like this, I'd have to pay here in Canada well over probably $1,800. So. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it.